What's up guys, my name is Julian, your solar expert, and today I'm going to be breaking down how to read your solar proposal. The first thing is the wattage of the solar panel. Right now, these are generally somewhere in the range of the high 300s up into the 400s, and in very few cases for some commercial panels that are bigger, they get up into the five and 600 watt range. Now, this is not how much the panel produces per se. This isn't an energy rating. This is a, a theoretical power rating. And so when we're talking about the solar system, being a certain kilowatt system size, that is not actually saying that the system is going to produce a certain amount of energy at all. It's just a power rating and an idea for us to say how big the system is in terms of the solar panels. And so simply to explain it, right, if a solar panel is 400 watts and you have 10 solar panels, it's simply an equation that goes 400 times 10, and that's 4,000 watts. But anytime it gets over 1,000 watts, we just say kilowatts. So if you have a quote and it says that it's a four kilowatt system, that just means that there's essentially some combination of solar panels that are a certain wattage, and when you add all of the wattages of all of the panels together, it totals 4,000 or 4 kilowatts. So that's the first thing. That's the KW rating. And this is not the same thing as KWH or kilowatt hours. And so the solar consultant, generally what we will do is ask for your electric bill in order to get an idea of how many kilowatt hours you're using. Now a kilowatt hour is essentially if you were to use, let's just say four kilowatts because it's up on the board. If, if you were to use four kilowatts in an hour, that unit of energy would be four kilowatts hours. And so in theory, if your system produced four kilowatt hours for 20 hours in a row, that would simply be four times 20, and that would be 80 kilowatt hours. So you can kind of start to put, you know, the time into the equation and simply understand kilowatt versus kilowatt hour. But it's really important to understand that a four kilowatt system is not going to produce 4,000 kilowatt hours in a year, which is something that I oftentimes hear. So when we, you know, let's say you're in uh, Southern California, for example, and you have a four kilowatt system, that system over the course of a year actually produced somewhere in the range of 5,000 up to maybe about 8,000 kilowatt hours a year, given the location and the azimuth of the roof, basically how well those solar panels are getting sun exposure and how much sun is hitting them. This is so important to understand because when I see people comparing head to head different proposals, oftentimes I'll see people comparing two completely different system sizes or they'll have the same amount of panels, but one panel will be like a 400 watt panel and the other panel that the other company is using is let's say 440 watts and so if you're dealing with you know 20 30 panels that 40 watts really adds up over the course of 20 30 panels and that can be two completely different system sizes and so it's really important to understand that you're not just comparing the wattage of the panels and it's ultimately getting the sum of all of the wattages of all the panels combined and so that is the best way to kind of start comparing solar quotes and making sure that you even have two quotes that are the same size. Now, level two with this conversation is the quality of the solar panels and taking into account things like the degradation and the efficiency and the temperature coefficients of those panels because the kilowatt hour number that the proposal is going to say is usually just year one pairing with a solar system. So check that one out right now.